This is the Love Life Horoscope Tarot Reading for Cancer from February 8th to the 22nd, 2022. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you and your love interest at the beginning of this time period? The star. Six of Wands and the King of Cups. Beautiful star. Oh, what is this? You've show you've influenced this person in, in this way of perhaps you loving them the right way or you showing them love the right way. The King of Cups is someone who it, it's also someone who, who does what they love to do for work. So perhaps through what you're doing, you've gained some sort of recognition. This person wants to give you recognition here. The Six of Wands. The star is a soulmate indicator, so someone feels very emotionally involved towards you at, at the start of this time period. So this could be happening already. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. What are they expressing? No, let's clarify the star. That's, that's the wish fulfillment here. That's the soulmate energy. For them, Seven of Swords for you. The Hierophant. Oh, I chose the wrong deck. This is someone that's been watching you. Someone that has been interested in a commitment with you. And that's what they're putting out there. They want to commit. Valentine's Day is coming up. Nice. That just crossed my mind here. I haven't even mentioned that in the other readings till now. So there's something happening here. When is Valentine's Day? Hold on. Uh, 14th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six days from now is Valentine's Day. Is there something taking place in this connection on Valentine's Day? Is there an expression of soulmate energy on Valentine's Day? Justice. Five of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. There is justice coming in. It's it's for something that, that was spoken in haste between you both. It's, it's looking like that you've wanted to have something resolved with, with this person. And you're getting justice for that, for the effort that you put in. So this is in result to a miscommunication. Let's clarify this. This Five of Swords, for them, tenacity, for you, teaching. Yeah, they're going to be telling you something that, that's been on their chest, something that, that's, that's been hard to say here. But you're getting, it's coming from a place of justice. It's, this person, perhaps they haven't been communicating to you because it's kind of like they're trying to, to get away with, Looking at you, watching you, but there is soulmate energy here. Hmm. What is this person saying to you? I wonder if this is on Valentine's Day. I don't see another six here. Before we get to that, yeah, let's ask that question here. What is this person saying to you? They could be an air sign, Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a lot of Libra energy here. What, what will they be saying to you? Two of Cups, the Sun, and the Chariot. Beautiful. This is what you want them to say, that this is what you've been looking for them to say. You needed you wanted healing and there's communication coming in from them. It's, it's mutually beneficial. This could be the start of a partnership. We have two partnership cards. Let's clarify the chariot. There's an obstacle that you, you wanted to get over with this person. And that's where the healing is coming from. 
Let's clarify this chariot. For them? Hospitality. For you? Altruism. You were very selfless. You were very giving to them. You, it seems like you put in a lot of effort. You put in a lot of strides, showing this person how welcome they were. So, yeah, very receptive to what they're saying. And what they're saying is very beautiful. It's, it's, it's so healing to this. So you're, you're going to get over whatever was done in the past between you both. Hmm. When that, when is this communication coming in? Let, let's, let's get a time frame here. So the first card will be for the first five days. So that will be from the eighth, two, three, four, eight to the 13th. And then the second card will be from the 14th to the, wait, 14th, one, two, three, four. 14th to 19th, and then from the 19th to the 22nd, the last four days, three days, whatever that is. <laughs> so the first five days, the second five days, and the last four days, we'll say it that way. So will this communication be coming to you in the first five days? First card, ah, there's still healing taking place. Second five days, temperance, ooh, the last four days. No, not the last four days. Temperance, divine timing. Healing, divine timing. It's not going to be at the end. Feels like it's in the middle. 14th. Could be around Valentine's Day. Let's clarify temperance. For them, materialism. For you, reverence. So there is something real shaping up here to give you reverence as a result of this healing. It's, it's looking like it's in the middle of time period around Valentine's Day. Hmm. Should you plan to spend Valentine's Day with this person? Let's ask that. Ten of Cups. Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. No, not yet. Don't plan on Valentine's Day. There is, there is this, this person is feeling, they're visualizing this future, this deep uh, romantic commitment, but it's, they're still learning here. They're still learning what, what they need to do. It's not coming in before Valentine's Day. Five days is not before Valentine's Day. So it might just, might happen the day after Valentine's Day. Let's clarify this page of Pentacles. Them, regrets, for you, duties. Yeah, so it, it doesn't come before Valentine's Day. It's going to come after. I feel it's shortly after Valentine's Day. Huh. Interesting. Recognition for past efforts. What is this wish fulfillment? Like there's the Ten of Cups. There's a wish fulfillment. What made this person change? What made them want to give you... Like, what made them want to resolve whatever issues you had with them? Let's ask that. Judgment. Seven of Pentacles. And the Moon card. So there was some separation here. It's almost like this person... There's fifth dimensional energy. That There's something that had you being in this energy of not communicating. Not, it's like you separated yourself from them. And in this time, it's like this voice. It's like they needed to escape the confines that they are in. They've been working towards coming to like coming towards you. They, they've been, something has been growing here. Let's clarify. Let's clarify what made them 
change their position. For them, learning. For you, obligations. Yeah, it's it's on them. I feel whatever miscommunication there was, it was angry words spoken in haste on their side. Like they, they've been, it, it was them that needed to learn from from something here. Something made them change their mind. They're obligated to to put the effort in now to to make things up to you because you're not the one that that is doing that now. You showed this person that you love them right. They may they may not have understood that before, but now they want to make things fair. They want to give you justice. In the extended, we'll get to the random love generated questions. I don't even look at them before the reading. I just press a button and they randomly come up. And the first question is, what happened that made the love interest act the way they did towards you? Huh. That is a good question. Yeah, what was it that happened? Huh. The next question is, who will be taking the next action towards whom? We'll get some clarity on that. We'll ask, is there anything you could do to help this connection with this love interest? I don't see that. I, I don't see you doing anything here. And we'll ask, what's the significance for you having this connection with this love interest? Perfect. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.